Jasmine is about to make a decision that I think could really impact what its future looks like for maybe the next few weeks to possibly even the next few months. And so I want to kind of give you an update on what I'm thinking and how I'm preparing for it. So let's not waste any more time at all. And let's get straight into the video. Now, in the last few times that I updated you on Jasmine was down here as we were putting in these lows. I said, look, okay, we just got this break to the downside. There was like this little mini head and shoulders pattern. It had a breakdown target to roughly, you know, back towards this 0.014 to 0.015 ish area. And as the price was starting to venture downward, I was actually starting to pick up the momentum of what I was buying. I think I made two what I'm buying right now videos basically here on the channel around that time, or maybe just one and then an update on it, something like that. I can't remember. But I'm basically just talking about the fact that what we were seeing from Jasmine, we haven't seen in a very long time. It's not often that you will see my company's indicator going off this much saying that it's a good time to buy. You guys know that DCA plus from my company and my company's indicator means this is like the time to buy or a good time to dollar cost average in. And it said it here. It was texting my phone here texting my phone here and here and here and here this whole move to the downside and i mean what do you know the price freaking rallies 30 to 40 percent right after this happens you guys saw these printing in real time so you guys know i didn't just go in and add them and so of course because of that like i said you can go fact check it we were doing a ton of buying down here now one thing you can use my company's indicator if you'd like the link is down in the description below we just added a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it for 29 days if you don't like it you can cancel it risk-free it's worth the try you can see the proof is in the pudding and i mean even if we just scroll down a little bit you can see how on the money this bad boy has been on multiple occasions okay and so anyway so that's the recap that's what we were doing in the last one now in the last one i told you all like i think it's price can make a move to the upside but there's going to be a lot of obstacles in the way and there's a couple things that i want to see jasmine do now it has completed one of those obstacles and obstacle number one was being able to break through the swing high down to swing low 618 fibonacci resistance zone you guys know this little zone right here this box serves as the strongest point of resistance on any crypto's chart it serves as one of the hardest levels to clear, but when you can clear it, it opens up the door to the upside substantially, usually, okay? And so because of that, obviously, I told you all, you know, I want to see it be able to clear this level because, before I can get too confident that we're going to make that run to $0.05 cents or $0.04. Cents. I can't even think about $0.04 cents or $0.05 cents until we're at least able to clear the 786 level, which is currently right under $0.02.5. Cents. And what you can see is that we are now interacting with this Fibonacci level like crazy. We got up to the 618 box, we got a bit of a pullback right off of it, and then we rallied through it, and now we we came up to the 786 box or the 786 level and now we're kind of slowing down maybe even about to enter in some type of little cool down and so because of that what i just want to say is that this is the moment of truth if jasmine's price is capable of breaking it the only step after that is just clearing that high now it does concern me a little bit right this overall development does concern me just a little because we are you know we are priming for what could be a double top right we are priming for what could be a double top so like i said i'm not going all in right here i'm just saying i'm gonna buy a little bit more right i'll probably buy a little bit more even though i was buying right here if i got more money to dollar cost average that week i'd probably buy a little bit more right here but i really wouldn't be doing too much while we are still below this previous little micro high um just because again we are primed and ready to what could easily be a double top now there's a couple reasons i believe the double top's possible one if the market pulls back and kind of like a, a sell the rumor type event as the bitcoin having happens that's possible for this thing to roll over okay the other reason is because of just the overall structure you guys know that jasmine likes to interact with bearish structure we saw it even over here we saw this little leaning head and shoulders pattern getting printed it shows it it shows it sometimes before it ever even happens and then the other reason is because if we do take let's say if this is hypothetically a double top okay boom what you need to be on the lookout for is the distance from the top all the way down to what you call the MLS, this mid-level of support. And you apply that to the MLS. So you take that distance and apply it to the breakdown zone, which is right here. That gives you your breakout target. And what I actually came to realize was that that perfectly aligns. If we do do the macro Fibonacci to the downside, it perfectly aligns with us coming back down to the 618 to 786 bucks to the downside and looking to build up the higher low before continuation. So knowing that at any given point, this big ass support zone might magnetize and pull the price downwards. And we have a breakdown target from a possible double top that also points down at that level. I'm I'm a little cautious now i'm saying okay it's probably a good idea to relax a little bit not the best time to be buying let's invalidate the possibility of a double top let's get up through the 786 zone might do a little buy here but inevitably clear that point zero two seven four five five level clear this invalidate a double a double top know that we've invalidated the breakout to the downside and then it opens up a door for us to really run to again what i believe can be first step four cents next step five cents and so because of that right now with jasmine the main point of this video is to say 
look, there is a risk right now that we do get rejected to the downside, not only just off the 786 level, but also off this previous high. And there are some breakdown targets that assess that we could get that pullback. And it is a little bit more of a higher likelihood than usual. And so because of that, I just wanted to warn you and let you know that I'm personally not going to do anything at this point until we first get a clearing of this level, going to break by a little bit. Then once we invalidate the double top, then I'll be looking to go in and buy a little bit more, expecting a possible move of 40 to 60% to the upside over the macro. Okay. So just a little update there. Of course, as I mentioned before, the majority of my buying that I do these days is based off of my company's indicator. You can go down to the link in the website below. There's a lot of information there. I give you a little bit, a bit of an actually mini course of what it is and how to set it up and how to use it. If you at least want to try it out, we got some testimonials and much more down there. So go check it out and let me know what you think. And like I said before, you can get a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's basically risk free to at least try it. So with that in mind, of course, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video on Jasmine. If you did, you can always let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new and I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.